and ever wondered about the number of non-empty wallets for popular cryptocurrencies like Dogecoin and Cardano? Recent data has revealed some intriguing shifts in these numbers. But what does it all mean? Let's dive in. Uh, firstly, Dogecoin's total number of holders uh, has been on a relatively flat trend recently. Uh, however, if we zoom out to a three-month view, uh, we see a, a growth of over 13% um, at the time of writing. Uh, the total number of Dogecoin holders stands at 6.62 million. On the other hand, Cardano's total number of holders has declined, although it too reflects a flat trend in the short term. However, unlike Dogecoin, there's no clear sign that this is not a less tire that features some of a slight increase over the past three months. The number of Cardano holders is currently around 4.7 million. And now, let's talk about price trends. Both Dogecoin and Cardano have experienced declines in their values over the past few months. But here's where it gets interesting. Has seen more positive price movements in the last three months than Cardano. Uh, Dogecoin's price has risen from the 0.08 cent range to the 0.1 dollar range in the past three months. Despite this, it remains in a bearish trend with its relative strength index below 40. Uh, meanwhile, Cardano's price has declined uh, compared to three months ago um, at the time of writing it's trading at around forty seven dollars also in a bearish trend with its RSI below uh, 40 V um, so what's the deal with these non empty wallets well the funding rate on co lists for Cardano has recently shifted below zero indicating that sellers now dominate the ADA trade this suggests an anticipated price decline in contrast Dogecoin has maintained a positive sentiment, as its funding rate indicates. This suggests an expected rise in Dogecoin's price. And now, for a little joke to lighten things up, why did the Dogecoin go to the party to have a ball? And with that said, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more cryptocurrency insights.